This is Levi Jones Leary. Well, if you haven't guessed, I'm rolling with Levi Jones Leary. He is a pro BJJ black belt. An absolute honor to have him in Sydney. He flew in from New York a few days before this roll. We're fortunate enough to have him on the podcast, the Beyond Jiu Jitsu podcast. Check a link in the description to check out that episode. But let's get into the roll. Levi's known as a bolo player specifically in the gi. So I know that he was digging for that deep De La Hiva hook to take my back. Funnily enough, he showed us something similar in a seminar a couple days before this. All I'm trying to do is square up with him and uh, try to prevent the back take. But as you can see, he gets that underhook on my leg, decides to invert Bolo with that truck hook and quickly takes my back. Easy peasy. After reviewing the footage, I noticed how Levi uses that power half Nelson to climb up my back and ensure that he uh, finishes the back take and I don't uh, roll out or he doesn't slip off the top. Obviously, this is the first time that uh, we have rolled, so I could tell that he was, you know, feeling me out and, and, and going quite easy on me. He could absolutely destroy me in seconds. So I really appreciate uh, the learning opportunity uh, rolling with someone of Levi's caliber. But as you can see, once he gets that uh, body triangle, it's pretty much game over for me. My game plan here was to try and flip Levi over so that his, the lock side of his body triangle was face down on the mat, but you can see as soon as we start to go, he undoes his triangle and locks it on the other side. We did this a couple times before he was able to trap my arm, and eventually he, uh, he decided that enough's enough and finished the choke. After the reset, I decided to give a good crack at my pressure passing. I go for the double under and then swap to a over under, but I'm unable to capture Levi's knee line, no surprise there. So I tried to trap both of his ankles to his glutes and go for some sort of body lock, but I'm unable to get an entry in. His, his guard is so good, it's so sticky. I, he makes me look like a day one white belt. He is, he, the skill level between us is insane. Levi then hits a sick K guard entry into a heel hook position with that reap around the back. I actually like this, this position myself and I try to hit it uh, with varying degrees of success, but you can see Levi has an awesome position. This is very similar to the K guard entry that Lachlan Giles hit in 2019 ADCC. Once I saw that he had my heel, I wasn't gonna try and fight it and uh, gave the tap. After a quick reset, I go for a cheeky front headlock type position and force him into turtle. I swim to his back and I try to get some hooks in, but see how tight he's keeping his elbows into his knees? There was absolutely no entry at all. I know that he's going for some form of rollout, so I try to follow him, but it ends up with me just floundering and he has a really nice butterfly hook. I'm trying to maintain my head posture and force him into some form of half guard, but it is so difficult to get any sort of pressure on Levi. And I can sense that he's going for that same entry, but this time he elects to go for a crab ride and takes my back once again. In this position, I'm trying to keep my hips to the mat, keep everything heavy and frame against his head and neck to try and gain some space to get my knees back in. But Levi, being the superior grappler that he is, switches his base and takes side control. I use my frames here to try and create some more space, but Levi's having none of it. He just holds me in position before finally the time runs out and that's the end of the roll. I've put links to all of Levi's social media in the description including his brand new platform, Xanadu World. So make sure you check it out and give him some support. Thanks for watching.